What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Coding with Robbie. As always, I'm your host Robbie, and in this video we're going to be building some Shopify theme sections with ChatGPT. So if you're unaware, ChatGPT is an AI chatbot and you can ask it anything. You can go, hey, how do I make some uh, chicken soup? How do I fly a plane? How do I, uh, I don't know, how do I cook linguine? You can ask it anything. And it's actually surprisingly good at writing code for people. You say, hey, build me a function that does this, write me an app that can do this, and it delivers some pretty good results. So uh, in today's video, we're going to be asking it to build us some Shopify theme sections, and we're going to see what it can do. If you're new here, uh, I'm coding with Robbie. I make videos on Shopify development. If that sounds interesting, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, we're going to get right into it. Let's go. All right, so we're going to kick things off nice and easy. We're going to try to have it build us an announcement bar. So one thing I found that helps a lot is to provide chat GPT with some example code. So I'm going to copy this section from my theme and I'll put this on GitHub in case you want to copy me. Let's just copy all this. We'll go to chat GPT. Let's go. Here's an example Shopify section. Paste it in. Build me a new section called announcement bar, which has settings for text, text color, and background color. Center the text and add some padding. Use the same width class as the example section. Let's see what it gives us. All right, so it just finished and uh, you can see the HTML right here. And then we got the schema below with the uh, three settings we wanted. And it called the preset announcement bar and it has some example uh, settings. So let's copy all this and we'll try it out. Go to our theme. I'll create a new section called announcement.liquid. Paste it in, hit save, and let's try it out. So let's go to Shopify. And I'm going to refresh. And let's go add section and announcement bar. And here's the section it built. So we can uh, type. We can change the text color. Don't mind my dog. And uh, we can change the background color, so that's pretty cool. So this looks pretty good. One thing I noticed it did that I didn't like is uh, it added some additional padding to the width class. So let's just have it edit that real quick. This is great. Can you just remove the left and right padding from the width class? Let's see what it does. All right, it just finished, and uh, you can see that it removed the left and right padding from width. So let's copy this modified version. Replace it, hit save. Let's go back to Shopify and make sure it didn't break anything. I'll refresh. And there we go. Just like that, we got our first section. So now let's try to take it up a notch. Let's try to have it build a uh, product grid. Let's go back to ChatGPT. And let's go, can you build me a new section called products? The section should have a setting to select a collection. The section should render the selected collections products in a three wide grid. Each grid item should display the product image, title, and price. And uh, let's see if that works. All right, so it just finished. Here's what it generated. So we got a bunch of HTML. You can see that it's looping through the collections products. And it's got uh, the image right here, the title and the price. And then for the schema, we just have one setting for collection. And then uh, we got some preset stuff down here. So let's try this out. I'm going to copy all this code. Go to our theme. We'll create a new section. We'll call it product.liquid. I guess products with an S. And uh, let's paste in that code, hit save. And then let's check terminal to make sure there's no bugs. And it looks like it updated. So let's try it out. Let's go to Shopify. And uh, let's refresh, add section. And uh, we got products now. So let's add that. And then we got to select our collection over here. So let's do the everything collection. And uh, there we go. It's actually not bad. So we're just going to have it clean it up a little bit now. So let's go, please use the same width class as above. Place a 30 pixel gap 
between each item. Give the items a white background and a border radius. Make sure the product image covers the full width of the item and that it doesn't overflow the container. Uh, let's see what that does. So just finished, here's the adjusted section. So let's just copy it and see what it did. So I'll get all that, go back to our section, replace everything, hit save, and let's go check it out. So we'll go back here and refresh. And uh, this is not good at all. All right, so let's try to have it fix it. The images are tiny and there's huge gaps between each item. Can you fix that and also add some top and bottom padding to the section? And let's try this new one. Copy all the code again, paste it in and try it. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work, but we'll see. Hit save. Uh, let's go back and refresh, see if it's any better. And uh, it's not, so let's actually check this out and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. Let's actually view our home page. I'll go inspect, play grid, and it's got three columns. And then we don't need the width right here. I think that's the main issue. So we'll try one more round. Now the images are not displaying at all. Also, the, what it, what's it called? What's that class? Uh, the, the grid item should not have a width set. All right, last try, and if not, that's as good as ChatGPT could do. So let's see what happens. All right, last try, let's see what happened. So let's copy all of this, and we'll go back to our section, replace all the content, hit save. Now uh, let's see what we got. Let's hit refresh. And, uh, yeah, oh, wait, yeah, it didn't do a good job. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't really depend on it for styling, but if we did go back, uh, it did have a working section here. We just have to style it up on our own. I just replaced it. We're back to how it was and say, I did want to fix this. I could just go right here and delete this. Hit save and let's see what that did. Pretty good. And then let's just add some top and bottom space. What do we call the section dot products? Adding 60 pixels zero. There we go. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. It did add a little hover on the image, which is kind of cool. And now it's time for the final boss. Let's try to have it build a complete footer section for us. So this is going to be kind of complicated. Let's go build me a footer Shopify section, which has Settings, not section, settings to connect three different navigation menus. The section should render each navigation menu in a separate column and loop through the links for each one. Also have a column with uh, our store logo and some copyright text. And uh, include settings for background color, text color, link color, logo image, and uh, do we need anything else? And copyright text. Um, use the same width class as above and add some top and bottom padding to the section. All right, so this is a long one. We'll see what it does right now. All right, so it just finished, and uh, this is way off, to be honest with you. So they did some really weird stuff. The HTML looks all right until we get to this section settings menus uh, loop right there. If we go down here to the schema and we look at uh, the settings, I don't think you can do dynamic stuff like that, so it's going to complain about that. And also all the dynamic stuff right here. 
And then what is this? It's like looping through our link list and doing all this craziness for the menus. So I'm going to try again and try to have it adjust it. So can you remove all liquid from the schema defaults slash options instead of a select for the menu? Can you add three settings of type link list? See if that fixes it. All right, so it just finished and it looks like it did fix the um, menu settings, but it wasn't able to remove this dynamic stuff. So I'm just gonna do it manually. I don't wanna fight with it too much and go back and forth. So let's go back up to the HTML right here. We'll copy it. Let's create a new section. Let's go footer.liquid. Liquid. And I already have a footer.liquid. Let's just call it foot.liquid. Paste it in. And then let's uh, copy the schema it gave us, which I have down here. And I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. We're going to get some errors, but let's copy it. And we'll paste it in down here. Hit save. Let's check out terminal. Yeah, so it's going to complain about um, some of the default stuff it put in. So let's just remove the default right here and right here. Hit save and see what else it complains about. So I'll go back to terminal. And uh, it's with this preset stuff. So let's just delete all the default settings. Hit save again. Go back. And uh, we're still getting an error. Invalid schema. Setting with ID logo type is invalid. If we go up, it did type image. And in Shopify, it's actually image picker. Let's hit save. And uh, now it finally saved. So uh, let's try this out. And I'm just going to name it foot so I don't get confused with my existing section. Go back to our theme. And uh, let's go customize. Add section. And here it is, foot. Let me just hide my existing one. I can't hide that one. Let's hit save. Uh, go to foot. Let's uh, connect our menus and logo. So I got my logo right here. And I'll hit set. Uh, we got the background color. Let's make it white. Uh, text color and link color look good. Uh, copyright text. Let's go copyright coding with Robbie 2023. Menu one, uh, footer menu. And I'm not seeing it, so we're going to have to fix that. Menu 2, let's go main menu. And menu 3, we'll do a uh, footer menu again. Let's hit save. And uh, tell chat GPT what's wrong. Go back. And um, can you give me the modified HTML so that it loops through the new link? list settings uh also send me the styles for the section all right so we got the styles right here i'm going to copy these while it's finishing the code let's go back to our section i'll just paste it right above the schema and uh let's go back down it's uh kind of interesting it's doing a for loop one to three and then uh yeah, it's kind of dynamically getting those section names, which is kind of cool. Uh, if this works, I'll be impressed. So let's copy all this. And uh, replace the HTML that I have up here. Hit save, and let's see if that worked. Go back here. I'll hit refresh. Scroll down. And it's not working. Let's see if we got errors. Expected. Close square, but found pipe. Uh... I don't know what that means. Let's copy the error and send it to chat GPT. How can I fix this? Paste it in, hit send. All right, so it just finished. And uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to try it. So let's copy it. And we'll try one more time if this uh, doesn't work. Copy all that, hit save. Uh, let's check out terminal. Yeah, same kind of error. Uh, this is not working. Instead of using a for loop for each navigation, 
menu. Want to just copy the code. Uh, give me new HTML only. Let's see if that works. Certainly, here's the modified HTML code that does not use a loop and instead copies the code for each navigation menu. And uh, it's giving me the styles again. All right, so it just finished and now you can see it's uh, kind of checking for each menu individually and then doing the code for it. So I think this will probably work. So let's copy all of this. And let's replace all of this. Hit save, let's check terminal. And it looks like it did update, so it should be working. So let's go back to our store, hit refresh. And uh, there we go, we got our three menus right there. And then we got our logo and um, the copyright text. So I could ask it again, you know, hey, put this in a column aligned with the menus, add a setting for the image width, keep doing all that. But I don't want to do too much back and forth in this video. All right. And there you have it. That's building Shopify theme sections with chat GPT. So it did an OK job. We kind of ran into a lot of bugs and uh, we kind of had to know how to build a Shopify theme section and kind of steer it in the right way to fix it. And really, in some cases, we had to manually fix it even. So I didn't think it did a great job. I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10. And I probably wouldn't recommend building your theme with ChatGPT. But if you do want it to kind of scaffold some stuff out for you, it did an okay job. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have a topic you want me to cover, put it in the uh, comments section below. Uh, a lot of you guys want me to make a full course on making a Shopify theme. And I might do that one day, but honestly, it's going to be like a 10 hour video. It's kind of too long to do at this point. So maybe I'll do it in the future. But if you have something more specific you want, just let me know and I'll try to do it. Uh, have a good day and see you next time.